Hey everybody, Ricky and I'm handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Saturday afternoon, March the 31st, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle Major Track Report. whole bunch of stake races to talk about today, folks, so just settle down and listen. Race 9, Aqueduct, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Plugged Nickel Stakes, mile test on the dirt. Phillies and mares, four years old and up, racing for a stakes prize of some $75,000. Contenders, number four, Opus A. Number six, One Last Dance. Number one, Great Gracie Dane. And number two, Catch a Thief. You folks who enjoy a little thoroughbred racing history to accompany your handicapping efforts today, Plug Nickel was voted the top sprinter in 1980. At age two in 1979, Plug Nickel won the Laurel Futurity in the Remsen Stakes, and in 1980, his wins in the Hutchinson Stakes, the Florida Derby, and the Wood Memorial made him the second choice among betters behind favorite Rock Hill native in the 10 furlong Kentucky Derby, the first leg of the Triple Crown. Favorite, by the way, finished fifth. Plug Nickel, who raced near the lead until tiring in the home stretch, wound up in seventh place behind the winning filly, Genuine Risk. Plug Nickel did not run in the Preakness or the Belmont Stakes, but was switched to shorter sprint races. The move saw him win several more important graded stake races and was voted the 1980 Eclipse Award, uh, Eclipse Award as the champion sprint horse. In this year's edition, number four, Opus A, has won four of seven in a career to date, racing at today's distance of a mile on the dirt, has hit the board in four of her last five adventures, including back-to-back -back power run wins in her last two starts. Number six, One Last Dance, a five-to-one shot, is a perfect three for three into the circle, racing at today's distance on the dirt, including a pair of power run wins in her last two starts. Jockey David Cohen was in her arms for that last win 50 days ago here at the Big A, which produced a 215% return on investment in the process. He's back today for his second ride, gunning for back-to-back -back circle trips. Race 9 summary, number 4, Opus A, tops the contenders list, which also includes number 6, One Last Dance, number 1, Great Gracie Dane, and number 2, Catch a Thief, Four six one two in the ninth from Aqueduct, the seventy-five thousand dollar plugged nickel stakes. Let's go to Pimlico next race ten, five twenty-three p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Shine Again Stakes, eight and a half furlongs on the dirt. Phillies and mares, three years old, an up race for a stakes prize of some fifty thousand dollars. Contenders number two, Touch the Birds. Number three, Brave as a Lion. Number eight, Over the Moon, and number five. Heaven's Voice. Wide open field this afternoon, folks, for the Saturday feature. No clear-cut morning line favorite. Number two, Touch the Birds, a 9-2 shot. It's won three of eight in her career today, racing at her about eight and a half furlongs on the dirt. Has hit the board in power run fashion in three of her last four, including a power run win in her fourth race back. Number three, Brave as a Lion, an 8-1 to one shot. Qualifies as a power pony. Has posted a pair of power run wins in her last three starts. Race 10 summary, number 2, Touch the Bird, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 3, Brave as a Lion, number 8, Over the Moon, and number 5, Heaven's Voice, 2385, and the 10th from Pimlico, the $50,000 Shine Against Stakes. Go overseas next for the world's richest horse race, Median Race Course in the Arab Emirates. Race 9, 140 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is, of course, the Dubai World Cup. Ten furlongs on Dubai's cushion track, grade one, four-year-olds, and up race for $10 million. Contenders, number two, Asian Flash, number seven, Royal Delta, number four, So You Think, and number four, excuse me, number seven, Silver Pond. Here in the world's richest horse race, number two, Asian Flash, a Japanese Bread entry and a 10 to 1 bomb takes a class drop, if you can believe it. Has produced power run performances in five straight, hitting the board in three of those adventures. Number seven, Royal Delta, an 8 to 1 shot. The pace profile leader has hit the board in each of his last five, winning twice, including a power run win in his second race back. Race 9 summary, number 2, Eshin Flash, tops my contenders list today, which also includes number 7, Royal Delta. Number four, So You Think, and number nine, Silver Pond. That's 2749 in the night from Maiden, the $10 million Dubai World Cup. Go to Gulfstream Park for the incredible Florida Derby Race 11, 
5, 10 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Nine furlongs on the dirt, grade one. Three-year-olds race for a million bucks. Contenders, number six, Union Rags. Number eight, El Padrino. Number three, Take Charge Indy. And uh, number nine, Reveron. Number six, Union Rags, qualifies as the Trackmaster Plus Power Pony as the overall speed and pace profile leader in this important Triple Crown prep race racing at nine furlongs on the dirt. Has hit the board in power run fashion in five straight, winning four times in this recent streak of racing consistency. Number eight, El Padrino, nice profile also for this route test. Has hit the board in five straight, winning three, including back-to-back -back power run wins in his last two starts. Jockey Javier Castellano was in his irons for those last two wins en route to a positive 170% return on investment in the process. Back today for his third ride gunning for a hat trick win. Race 11 summary, number 6 Union Rags tops the contenders list which also includes number 8 El Padrino, number 3 Take Charge Indy, and number 9 Reveron 6839 in the 11th from Gulfstream, the $1 million Florida Derby. Bonus long shots, Hawthorne, race 6, the 6th to 1 shot, number 5, Bea, Trackmaster Plus Power Pony Qualifier, the overall speed leader in its allowance field, racing at or about today's distance of 8.5 furlongs on the dirt. Penn National, race 4, number 6, Dark Continent, 6 to 1 on the morning line, Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, a nice overall speed for this mile test on the dirt. So handicapping from... Stake races all over the world on a Saturday afternoon. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you, as always, to please bet with your head, not over it.